Hey everybody, this is the new version of the Poor Man's Gunstock, but I'm not going to call it the Poor Man's Gunstock. This will be the fail stock. It'll be my best fail. This is the inspired version because someone in the Discord posted this photo, and I really like the incorporation of a third point of contact. And so Moxie Like is my new friend, and I would like to create that version, but with um, my own take on it. We're gonna do something similar to the quick aim with, that Mr. Taz makes and the grip stock from San Laki, but we're also gonna include a shoulder stock and it'll all be from these materials that you see here on the table. You'll need a nine inch piece of cardboard or about 23 centimeters. Um, you'll need two hangers. You could do this with one, but you're gonna have a pretty bad time. Um, it's not gonna be quite as sturdy. Some tape, wire cutters, and scissors. You're gonna go ahead and clip the hanger in these sections here. If you have the previous version, you're just going to also cut this once here and once here on this upper part that you removed previously, you're gonna find it and you're gonna use it for this build. So clip off this guy and uh, flip these around. This will become your buttstock and this will be the bottom part. So we'll go ahead and get that build started. To make the cup, you will grip it in your hand this is for the left hand, I'm just kind of showing you how that's done. You set it in here, you have the flap here, you take the bottom. For me, I'm right-handed, so I went ahead and already created the, the grip for that. I'm going to set it in here just to, to do a check. You know, you've got the tape on the bottom, and you put your hand in here, feels good, doesn't get in the way. What you want to do next is, once you've clipped the hanger in the areas I showed you, you'll take this guy, the bottom part with the two hooks. You'll, you've already clipped this off, this part and this part, you could toss in the trash. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tape up this guy together. After that, you want to take this off the cup, this gun stock, it's gonna require quite a bit of tape. As you saw before, I had it sitting right here. Doing this one-handed is kinda hard, so bear with me. Set it like that, tip down this way, and then maybe include quite a few more buttons so it's nice and stiff. Okay. And now, at this stage, you can have it as is because you can still use it uh, like a quick game. To do the buttstock, you've already clipped off this side, you want to flip these two together and tape it. I like to do it in a sort of like a scissor shape look. So you tape it here, here, and then tape this guy to the back of this. Okay, so I'll speed this up. And then when you drop the controller in there, you'll see that you're able to use this as a cheek weld, three points of contact, and the adjustability of the forward part. If you have a smaller gun, you could range it down, longer gun, range it up, and just rest it so it's nice and tight. Top. Okay, this is the new version, the fail stock 2.0. There you go, two close hangers.